Okay, so chronic renal failure. Mm -hmm. I'll go ahead and sketch out the map real quick. So stick it wherever you want, but the place that I have it, I have a, it's kind of a mountain range, Craggledy Mountain over here, Craggledy Mountain over here, and then there's like a wall between these two mountains. It's just flat wall, and it actually doesn't have cross hatching, but I was just trying to make it look like a wall. So there's a wall connecting those two mountains, and there's kind of a walkway along like this, and the mountain stretches out to roughly here. It's like craggledy, 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 and the walkway is like that. And then it bends around here, and then there's a cave right here. And then there's a waterfall over here. There's a bone on top of the waterfall. It's like part of the architecture at this point, apparently. And a waterfall coming down. And then there's a narrow precipice on the other side that you can try and land on and climb over. So this is the equivalent of a mountain. It's and then over the mountain, we have open air, and it's just all mountain, 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 So, and this mountain goes over here, and then the pathway is sort of like that. So, this is all mountain, this is all mountain, pathway going around the outside, hop over the waterfall, climb up the thing, and then there's some floating objects that we'll talk about. Floating, not floating, and then the sky. All right. Yes, I have to decide this is not, I'm, I'm putting us in a classroom. <laughs> That's going to turn into that when you open the door. Just have a portal. Yeah. yeah. Make a portal. I love portals. All right. So, first things first. This is chronic renal failure. And so we have a crone with big hair and then an eye right there, and she's just got like a little cane going out here. All right, and that looks nothing like a crone, but anyway, there's a crone for chronic and then renal failure. Now, first things we're going to do are some general things, and the general is going to be this section. So. We have a sort of timeline right here, and in the middle, we have a tree growing out of this wall, and it helps if you go ahead and see the wall, just notice a oh, mountain over there, a mountain over there, and then just like this wall, uh, fortification. Now, in the fortification, there's a tree growing out of it, and there is a hero, there's a tree, there's a hero resting on the tree, okay? Mm -hmm. So the tree represents the number three, mm -hmm. the hero represents the number zero, and so it's 30. Okay, now underneath this tree, there's this timeline that I drew right here, and it is going from, and it's showing us the um, filtration efficacy of the glomerulus. Mm. And so if it is 30, from um, 50 to 30, it's going to be uh, insufficiency from 30 down to roughly 10 mm. is going to be failure. And then from 10 or 5 to 0, depending on the source, it's end stage failure. And so I just have the tree to remind me of the middle one, and then the rest of them are just like basically keep breaking it down, and it just goes from insufficiency to failure to end stage failure. I didn't make pictures for all of those because I felt like the timeline was sufficient. Mm -hmm. Now, under here, there is etched into the wall three distinct circles. And those three circles represent three quarters of the kidneys can be broken before you lose 50% of the filtration rate. And so for that, I just have um, like um, like one half symbol. It's just a fraction and the easiest fraction is one half. Um, I think I actually might have had half a globe. It's just like the data is so stuck there. I almost don't reference the picture anymore. Yeah. But um, yeah, so you lose three quarters of the kidney and that only takes you down to half your GFR. And if you're at half your GFR, you're going to have double 
the uh, creatinine clearance. And for me, creatinine are little teardrop looking things. Um, they're little green teardrops. So you got two green teardrops for double the amount of creatinine, um, not clearance, excuse me, but like in the blood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where is that? Creatinine produces green teardrops? Yeah. Uh -huh. That's how I do and, creatinine. And so, can you explain that one more time? Yeah. If you can only filter half as much stuff, you're going to have twice as much left in the blood. In this right. case, twice as much creatinine. I get it. So you have two times more creatinine than blood. Yep. Yeah. And that's this. And then the three the dots is saying that you can lose three quarters of your kidneys, and that will only take you down half. Right. So three quarters takes you to half. Oh, we're at half. That means double the stuff in the blood. Yep. The end. All right. So that's the general stuff that I had. And moving over here, now it is um, causes. Oh, and if you, I actually did a fun division thing with this. I had a, um, you remember the floating things? So that's the floating for this entire thing. I had sections since this was such a big disease. This had a general, like a military general standing over it. Mm -hmm. And then I would just zoom out and see that section of the map highlighted. Next, we're moving on to clauses, Santa clauses, causes of the disease. So Santa mm -hmm. is hovering over all of this section right here. All right. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, and um, one's right here. And this is going to be um, where we have anyone who you know that is type 1 diabetic, okay? And um, they are next to uh, a nephew. And in my case, DuckTales, the little nephews, the three nephews, Huey, Dewey, and Louie, mm -hmm. yeah, they're all mobbing this type 1 diabetic person because it is diabetic nephropathy. Nephew nephropathy, diabetic. And so um, diabetic nephropathy goes right there. That can lead to chronic renal failure because they have a whole bunch of glucose that is just tearing their uh, glomerulus apart. Next, we have a French horn right here because the French horn represents a glomerulus because it looks oh. kind of like it. Mm -hmm. And so it's a circle made of brass and all, yeah. And uh, so it's just glomeruluropathy. No neph in there, okay? And then we have a little whoop, whoop, two little like croquet things sticking mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. And those represent vasculitis because they're red. Mm -hmm. So it's just vas uh, vessels. Mm -hmm. And then tied between them is a very tight or um, tense piece of string or rope that's like tied between them. And that represents um, hypertension. Mm -hmm. Okay? So we have vasculitis and hypertension and it's just, you know, vessel stuff. And so I tied it together. So I guess there's six if you want to treat that as two different things, but whatever. Okay, then over here I have a girl who is holding a teddy bear She's holding her teddy, hereditary, her teddy, oh, okay. hereditary. So the next two we're talking, she right. is nothing else herself. She's just saying, the next one's a hereditary. Yeah. So we're moving to a subsection of causes, hereditary causes. Yeah. Yeah. And now these next two, we have, huh, um, we have a kid sitting at a desk with a computer on it, a big old PC computer. Okay. okay? And he's just sitting there, and he's like, tippity tappity tippity tap tap type tippity type, type. Yeah. And he's just, he is PCKD. He's yeah. the PC kid. Mm -hmm. Okay? Oh, yeah. Polycystic kidney disease. And next to him, the only thing that I bothered memorizing for this was that uh, there is um, a door with two hens sticking their heads out, as I recall. And so there's a, the door is partially open. And there's a hen sticking out over here and over here. And so it goes from 40 to, or 400, I think, to 1,000. Um, yeah, four, one in 400 to 1,000 people will have PCKD. So it's really common mm -hmm. as a hereditary disease. And so there's actually only one hen, excuse me, um, 
if if you really want the numbers to be even clearer, I actually also had two superheroes trying to open this extremely hard to open door, and then the hen that's where the two was coming from in case like, two hens. No, there's oh, yeah. two superheroes. And uh, the superheroes represent the number zero. Yeah. And so it was four door hero hero zero zero four hundred hen ten hero hero ten zero zero one thousand. So four hundred to a thousand is the hereditary. And so there was a superhero up here just like reaching down like and then there's one over here that's and they need to work out more because mm. it's not that heavy. All right. So that was that. PC KD 400 to 1000. Frankly, if it's easier to remember just 400 to 1000, just do that. But I was testing out number stuff. So, now looking off the ridge here and up into the sky because this might already be had in another mind palace of yours, there was Owl ports, which sounds like airport. Yes, it does. And so we've got a beautiful a plane. plane yes. And on the wing <laughs> is this extremely yes. viral, like, man standing there like, ah! Because he is a ex-dominant disease. So he's, uh, ah! Right. All right. So, and this is him. However, he has... Um, Something over one of his ears, something over one of his eyes. It's um like you remember Jordy the Forge from Star Trek, how he had that visor thing. Okay, no. Um, think think two eye patches, one over his ear and one over his eye. That'll work. Mm -hmm. You can have hearing loss and you can have blindness, and you can also have kidney issues. Duh. Yeah. Um, and so and it's X-link dominant. He's also standing in a rectangle. Uh, on the plane wing that is lower than the rest of the plane wing. So if you like okay. smushed a rectangle down, that represents basement membrane. That's how I always do basement because it's like, I'm lower, yeah. but I don't want to make a whole nother room for basement. Okay, yeah. two inches. You have a two inch basement. <laughs> so, um, Alport. All right, so this one is hereditary. It's X-Link or uh, yeah, it's X-Link dominant. And uh, blindness, deafness can happen and kidney issues and it has to do with the basement membrane, I believe that it's probably... There's something wrong with the basement membrane. Yeah, it if... thickens and then separates. Thickens and separates, um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and did you get anything for foam? Nope. Okay. Something's foamy with this disease. I don't know. All right, well, here. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah, this is like <laughs> the feral... <laughs> so, so do the head stuff together. Ear, eye, foam. Then do kidney, and he has a giant X shirt on, by the way, just because he's like, X legged, and he's dominant. Yeah. And then basement. So one, two, three, done. Okay. Um, that way it's not too much at once. All right, and those were all the clauses. Next, we go on to signs and symptoms, which is going to be a signpost hovering over this that looks like, you know, just a signpost with a whole frickin' ton of signs. So right. signs and symptoms. And I just have that floating over this whole next section to about here. Okay. okay. So we did general, we did clauses, and now we're doing signs and symptoms. First things first, I see a tree, and it's the tree that I know represents the number three. And in this case, I know, okay, that tree, which is right in front of the cave, it's like you can kind of see the cave through its branches. Always see this tree first. And that tree, it represents this same tree we saw back here, 30, um, as soon as you um, are under 30 milliliters of uh, filtration per minute, bad juju. Then you start having all these symptoms. Now, inside the cave, we have, we look up and it's like there's this cut window skylight sort of thing. And you look through that and it's like nighttime and you hear a wolf howl and it's like, and it's nighttime, there's a moon, there's stars, and it's like, oh, it's nighttime. Nocturia, okay? okay? That's the first sign that you will see typically with this, and that's why we're seeing it first. So you just look up, and it's like, looking up is unique and original. All right. Anyway, it, that's what makes me remember it. It's different. And then you look down in the cave, and it's not a very deep cave, but coming out of the wall just after the skylight down to the right, or left, whatever, I pointed left and said right. <laughs> um, there is an arm coming out of the cave wall. Okay, there's the arm. And there's flakes all over it. 
Okay. And so this, and there, and it's um, like snow, it's like frosty. And so this is Euremic Frost. So it's just like, think like an ice, the Ice Witch from Narnia. How are you? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so she's got Euremic Frost. And then she also has all these bruises and things. Echimosis, that's one that you can just make. Oh, yeah, that looks like echimosis. Large bruises. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing is um, puritis. It's very itchy. And so you can just look at it and be like, okay, three things. Uremic frost, mm -hmm. itchy, echimosis. Echimosis is going to be bruises roughly like this. Are you sure? Do you see What these? about uh, anorexia, nausea, and vomiting? We're getting there. Okay. <laughs> I don't have any of those symptoms on this study yeah. guide. It's Are you using class? Alex's? Yeah. That's why. Because we're cramming. Okay, All right. Wait, so what is it again? The ice, like... Uremic frost. Okay. Uremic frost. Okay. And she made a point of this one in lecture. Okay. Uremic frost. And so that is just, literally, you have urine crystallizing on your skin. I thought that this was something you had just been over, so um, okay. I'll go into Sorry. more detail now. It, no, it's cool. I... Different study guides, you know? Yeah. So, um, uremic frost, and then having oh, urine on your skin makes you itchy. Oh. So it's itchy. Yeah. Yeah. Itchy. So, and then echimosis, because uh, of whatever reason, you start getting bruises. If we thought about it long enough, we could probably connect why. Yeah. Right, right now, I'm just doing pics and then hitting the road. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's it for the cave. Two nice little things in the cave, then we come back out. So we had tree, cave, next. All right, now we get to all the stuff you're thinking. There is a girl standing here, and she is not feeling super great. So she has, I like to link these three symptoms all together. So I see like this spiral thing right here that represents nausea. Mm -hmm. And then she has vomiting and diarrhea. So it's just like, poof, poof. Mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And I just have little red lines representing, you know what this means, going <laughs> both ways. So, so nausea. And then um, diarrhea and vomiting. That's all, like, in a single chunk. Yeah. And then the other thing is she is super skinny. She So weight loss and anorexia. Uh -huh. And so I just know there's two things for that. So there's two chunks. One has three things. One has two things. Got it. Great. So, yeah. Next, we go just a little bit further towards uh, just, like, we're, like, going further. Okay? We saw the cave and missed that. No. We left the cave for this girl who's standing outside. She's to the right of the cave. She's, like, right here. Cave was this, and I didn't draw the things inside. Oh, sorry. And, uh, Hold on, my foot is just like two. Ah, okay. Ah. So. There's my beautiful singing voice. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, no, no. That's why I put it like that, because it's time to go home. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh, no, no. I got a king of my for myself. I need more culture. I don't know what that is. All right, so. Oh, okay. It's just, it's part of the song. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Um, huh. This next one is a little bit of a stretch, but perhaps. Uh, anyway, so <laughs> Norse, like Norse, like Norway, yeah. Norse mythology yeah. is where Thor comes from, right? So. My cat's name is Loki, if that's any consolation, too. Hmm? My cat's name is Loki. Oh, see? Happiness. Oh, All right, so the Norse man, Thor, is standing here. We have Thor, okay? But he's Norse. That's the important thing. Normocytic, normochromic anemia. Norse. Yeah. Okay. okay? So he's, like, right here with his hammer. All right, whatever. All right, and he has this weird kid, like... Um, named Ed. I, I hated, absolutely detested this show, but I still remember um, Ed, Ed, and Eddie. There was one yes. Edward who just, I still remember what he looked like, even though I only saw a quarter of a single episode before <laughs> I stopped watching. But anyway, he's Ed, and he's curled around Thor at his abdomen because edema. So Ed, and there's bulge there, edema. Yeah. Okay? So that was two things. The other thing is just randomly, a car, who knows who fl who flung this, but someone is throwing a car at Thor from behind the mountain. So there's just a car coming down, and Thor being Thor, he takes his hammer, and he parries it. Parry carditis. Oh, that's good. Oh, I like that. All right. Sweet. So, so we got a car coming down. 
nice action scene, and then he parries it. Pericarditis. Okay? Next, um, we have the last thing. And this one is last, just like the first one was first on purpose. This one's the last one on purpose. Okay. And this one is um, encephalopathy. Okay. And that's the end stage. You're, that's what yeah. might kill you. Yeah. And so basically, the path mm -hmm. is starting. There's little cobblestones saying, hey, this is a unique part of the path, because the rest of it's just like stone. But there's like, someone tried to make this cobblestone in nice. Now it's falling apart. And so... Um, it's a pathway falling apart. Encephalopathy. Yeah. Anyway, and there's a brain on it. That's the rest of it. Mm -hmm. There's a brain on the path, and then the pathy is supposed to remind me that it's encephalopathy, not like encephalitis or um, hematoma. It's like brain. Brain what? Path. Oh, encephalopathy. Right. So we have brain and then the path falling apart. Okay. Next... We have this bone where all the water is coming, so the path ends, and then it's a waterfall, and it's like, whoa, can't get across that. And all the water seems to be coming out underneath a bone. That's, that's unique. So this represents some kind of bone disease that I memorized as osteomalacia, but apparently it's osteodystrophy and whatever. Your bones are weak. Um, and there is a lightning bolt coming out of the bone. And so it's like, oh, someone thought this would be a good hydro dam shape, I guess. Anyway, it means uh, hyperparathyroid. Hyper for the lightning bolt. Uh -huh. And then parathyroid is just like, it's bone, it's calcium. Think about this for a sec and make sure it makes sense at this point. This is the make sure it makes sense. And that's why the lightning bolt doesn't need more stuff because hopefully you're going over. Okay, I have, oh, we'll talk about the stuff below first. Then we'll go over makes sense. Um, you can have... Calcium. Hi, Hello, Eddie Tom. Oh, and, uh, are you recording? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Makes it hi. easier that way. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> You'll be hi. watching it later. Awesome. Hi. Yep. We'll Hello, stick Derek. it up. <laughs> hi. Hi. So, life good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sweet. Are you going home? Excellent. Um, I'm going to. This is. Oh, the Wednesday night. You're going to watch my call at mm -hmm. Institute. Yeah. I thought it was uh, still in break, spring break. No? Oh. It's okay. Okay, well, I'll, I guess I'll be going next week because this week I've already got other stuff. Uh, um, okay. Yeah. Uh, All right. Yeah, I thought I was walking by and I'm like, oh, it's Taylor. Yeah. yeah. Hey. Is he going? <laughs> yeah. I would be. Never miss it, except. Oh, well. Aww. Thanks for letting okay. me and know this, that next week is good. And this was... Uh, oh, yeah, thank sorry. you. Thank you very much. Sorry for interrupting. <laughs> this is a reminder that you need to have some people in your life that matter to you. And then <laughs> your life is worth studying for. All right. Okay. Thanks, Derek. We'll see you guys later. Bye, Derek. Have Bye. fun. Bye. Goodbye. Uh, Derek's awesome. Uh, yeah. Agreed. Okay. Every direction is awesome. All right. So, yes, I did. That is a three-dimensional tooth with very bad inking. So, just imagine a tooth. This is how you're going to get across the waterfall. You can step onto this giant floating tooth. You ever play the Mario games yes. where it's like the falling things? Oh, like, yeah. Another tooth! Ta -da 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 -da. All right, anyway. There's a tooth, and above it, you have phosphate. And I'm going to draw the phosphate because it's easier. P O O O O. Oh, that is a phosphate group. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you picked it up by the bottom of the P and the O's were sticking out sideways and you <laughs> slapped it like that, then it goes, you know, like a pinwheel. And then it's yeah. really cool. And then all of a sudden that's what's there. So <laughs> okay. you have a flying like, I can fly phosphate. You know, it's, it's just a phosphate over the calcium, meaning you have high phosphate, low calcium. Now we go over, what does all this mean? Well, you're peeing out a whole bunch of calcium and somehow able to save the phosphate. It's not just saving the phosphate, but because you're peeing out calcium, you're going to break the bone down with osteoclasts. There's actually a Pac-Man down here that represents osteoclasts. He's gnawing on the bottom of the tooth because there are no ghosts around, I guess. And um, that represents bone breakdown. And then it's like, okay, break down bone, calcium in the blood, is now back to normal. That's great. We lost it all because you couldn't save it because the glomerulus is damaged. So of course, we're gonna break it down out of the bone, bring it back to normal. You also bring phosphate out because calcium phosphate is what the bone is made of. And then you pee out all that calcium too. 
and then you break down more, and then you pee all of that out. Then you break down more, and you pee all that out. And so that's mm -hmm. why you have bone issues. Mm -hmm. Phosphate apparently is better able to be saved even when you don't want it. So you have hyperphosphatemia. Yeah. Okay. That was the end of signs and symptoms. Part one, going through the cave. Part two, the rest of the path. Part three, waterfall, I guess, if you want to split it up that way, honestly. Whatever. I don't actually split it up that way too much. I do a little. Whatever. Next. Um, you hop onto the tooth. You hop to the other side, and there's this narrow ledge that you land on, and then you grab the wall, because otherwise you would fall off. And what you're grabbing right here is the number 1.5. There's like a handle coming out of the wall, and it's, I mean, the number 1 and a handle look a lot alike. So that's what's supposed to remind you of it. Um, I found this one. Are these the labs? These are diagnosis, excuse me. Oh, there's okay. uh, someone named Dexter up here. Oh, yeah. Which is another remnant of my childhood. Dexter's laboratory? Yes. Mm, In Dexter's lab! All right, yes. My childhood has never left. All right. So this is Dexter <laughs> floating above here. Dexter is like DX, which is diagnosis. Okay. All right. So this is diagnosis area. First, 1.5 to 2 creatinine. And so that means that you have the number and then you have the two green tiers coming out the bottom for oh. creatinine. Okay? So your creatinine is 1.5 to 2 when okay. you do the lab. Next, you have right next to, like right above this, there is an ice cream scooper, which is my um, symbol, you might remember, maybe, maybe not, for um, biopsy. Okay, because you're going to take a scoop right. out of something. Mm. And so that is how you make this nice little, okay, let's make some little climby things really quick that you can go up. Right. You, you like scoop out of the mountain. It's like magic ice cream scoop. I wish I had this. So many things you could just... So there's those two. Then um, once you've got those two, those are the two that like you can grab onto. One, two. Then you look to the right. See stuff. Look to the left. See stuff. Looking to the right, you will see. Um, you guys know wheat thins, the yes. cracker. Yeah. All right. Well, there is a box of wheat thins with one giant wheat thin on top of the box, so it's not like this box that you're trying to remember what it is. Except they're all encased in ice. Mm. Iso thin something something is. Okay. Iso. It's like the iso condition. Iso thin uric. Yes, iso thin uric. Thank you. Iso thin uric. Um, is low. Or fixed. Yeah. Equal urine and plasma clot. Low or fixed. Isocyanuric equals uh, equal urine and plasma constant. What is this? Specific gravity? Isocyanuric means that what you're peeing out, specific gravity-wise, is the same, same as, your as your plasma. Your specific right, gravity-wise. So, so the really simple way to think about it is your, your kidney can't concentrate stuff because it can't filter stuff, so it all just goes out the same as it was in the blood. Yeah. Yay! Okay. And they call that isothenuric. That okay. Horrifying to have. Right? Okay, so that's the only thing over here with the box and the wheat thin and the how is, ice. How is it wheat thin? Isothin iso uric. Iso okay. Wheat thin, so it's ice, and that's why there's ice encased. Yeah. Isothin uric. Looking to the left, we have <laughs> that another floating tooth. Apparently, there's more than one, and it's low, and on top of it, Oh, banana. All right. There is a banana floating on this. And potassium. Yes. And so you have high potassium and low calcium. That's diagnostic. The last thing over here, so that was one pair looking to the left. Make sure that you're chunking direction. So it's like you look to the right. That's in its own chunk. It's very small that way. Look to the left. It's its own chunk instead of it's all yeah, one area. Yeah. So otherwise this gets... Anyway, so there's one pair. The other thing is there's going to be a rainbow because it's a waterfall, right? And this rainbow, this is where we get geeky again, a parabola, right? Oh, what is that? A parabola is when it goes like this and the apex is there and it's, a, um, right. and it's like x squared will make yes. a parabola. Yes, yes. Okay. okay, and so this is a parabolic equation. Anyway, so that's a parabola, which looks like a rainbow. Yeah. But geeks are like, look, a colorful parabola. <laughs> All right, so this is going to be um, metabolic um, acidosis. Metabolic, parabolic, 
That was the best I could do. I was getting super tired, and parabola, of course, is the first thing in my head. (laughs) So, if you have something that you prefer for, like... Like an acid, like, on the wheat thin box or something. You can do that, and that would be wise. Because this is not going to be, like, for me, it's just, like, metabolic, parabolic, acidosis. Then you know it's metabolic. But honestly, look, you're losing calcium and bicarb. Of yeah. course you're going to have acidemia, but you might not be able to think come the day of the test. Yeah. <laughs> so it's nice to have it in there somewhere. <laughs> all right. Really. So all that is diagnostic. <laughs> 1.5 to 2 for creatinine clearance, <laughs> um, which is the handle you hold on to and the two teardrops coming out of it, green. Then you have above it the melon scooper, that you, or ice cream scooper. Melon baller and ice cream scooper are synonymous to me. And um, you go ahead and scoop out of the wall. And that's biopsy is the gold standard, which is true for everything in the kidney, just by the way. Mm-hmm. And then looking to the right, isothenuric, looking to the left, low calcium, high potassium, metabolic acidosis. All right, now we climb over this sucker, and we have um, things that make it more likely, and I think I left this under diagnosis, although technically this isn't diagnosis, this should be... No, I had something else and I've forgotten what it is. But there's something that says um, risk factors. So if you've seen the show Risk Factor, you can have the host from that above it, but I don't... I only saw like a bit of it, but maybe you guys are more culturally sound than I am, if we want to phrase it like that. So, um, you can have a dead marker. Um where your kidney is fine most of the time. Like, it's not atrophic. Your kidney is present. Or there are some causes, and that might have meant something. Check your notes to see if I'm leaving something out with that picture. Below it, we have um, a bunch of shriveled... It's the shriveled up kidney thing. So you just see, like, a raisin below there. But then above the raisin kind of a thing, once you've gotten the raisin, it's not the pictures that we're using to remember stuff besides... Oh, I have one. I have one. Here. Ready? One, two, three, hike! Okay. Arigato! Okay. There we go. So, this is a spaghettio, except it has the head of anyone you choose named Amy. <laughs> okay? <laughs> and Amy is like having an argument over here with PC Kid. Oh, okay. Or, and they both want the same M and M. Okay? So this is SpaghettiOs, but it's Amy. So amyloidosis. 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 And PCKD. We'll both have, um, and multiple myeloma in the middle with the M and M. So they're both fighting over the M and M. Two people fighting over an M and M. That makes it all one chunk nice and easy. Okay, yeah. So she's like, ah. And the reason she looks like this is because SpaghettiOs. Amyloidosis and it's SpaghettiOs. Amy has a spaghetti. Anyway. Yes. Hey, PCKD is the PC kid again typing, but also reaching for the M M&M, and M, slapping at the hands, and it's very comedic. So, <laughs> in the back, in the background, we have a freaking giant funnel that you never need to see closer. It's just like, okay, this is weird. Okay, that's weird, or we're gonna look away again. So it's just like background. Uh, I don't know, whatever. So. Um, and the funnel is obstructed, okay? And you can just tell from here there's like a bulge in the funnel and you just know in the same way in a dream you know that 50 feet below you in the water even though there's no way you should know there are sharks there, there totally are. Same thing, you know that there's a thing in the funnel and it's bulging a bit. So obstructive uh, kidney diseases will cause um, kidney atrophy and damage. Okay? Right. And all of these were on the bottom bit of you've climbed over and you're looking down. First you look up and it's like, oh, there's uh, you can have, you almost always have a normal non-atrophic kidney unless you have these comorbid issues. These, this is different. It says kidneys are usually small but can be large if the patient has those things. Okay, then do that. Like I said, thank you for double checking. These ones are large. I did say so that these ones were not firm. So. For reason? Yeah, it's a super giant raisin then. It's plump. So the raisin was the kidney, right? Did yeah. I that? I might have, my brain might have. Yeah. That flipped. All right. 
Next, so this one up here is a small, that one's big, and that makes the obstructive make sense. Okay, last thing. You've looked at the uh, small kidney, unless you have these. Big kidney, one, one chunk with three things, and then obstructive in the back. Yeah. Now you're looking up, and you kind of, I guess you can sort of fly into the sky a bit, and you're going to see a... Um, the representation of hypertension, so a string strung between two non-horseshoe things in this case, because it's not vasculitis. But so, di this is treatment. So in the sun, you see like whatever your favorite candy is, ah, <laughs> Lara bars, or, <laughs> oh my God. or Tim Tams if you are in New Zealand. Um, and yeah, okay, you guys can see. Uh, yeah, so you see the treat, that means treatments. That's what's floating over here. Okay. All right? <laughs> so first, <laughs> deal with hypertension. So these are all things to lower. We're going to have hypertension, and then dangling from this string, you have three things. One of them is a um, pot of sugar. One of them is a pot of salt. So you have sugar and salt, and then water in the middle. All right, dehydration is so you want to have water. Mm -hmm. Okay? And then you have... Banana and phosphate. And the phosphate is slicing the banana into slices. Mm. Wait, what is this? These are things that you, to treat, you want to lower blood sugar, you want to lower salt intake, you oh. want to tr deal with dehydration. Yeah. After you cut the banana up, you also have uh, where you do... Is this live? Yeah, this, no, it's not live. Okay, no, no. You try and bring, but I don't know, but I don't bring know. calcium up and do... Uh, it, so calcium is writing on a... A tooth going up on a rope, and that rope represents dialysis because it's actually a tube that you do dialysis in. And go and spend time with your family. 